what can I do? It's cost me a lot. It's cost me a shit lot. Right here. Shit, it's cost me a lot. Shit, homie. It's cost me a lot. Nigga, this shit right here, nigga. It's cost me a lot. This shit right here. It's cost me a lot. Hey. It's cost me a lot. Just one of them days. A nigga feel like floss in a stone cold. Alright, what's up guys? Uh I know it's a long time no see, but I'm here at the storage. Got the car propped up. They've been complaining, so I had to clean up a little bit. So I'm running a little late. I had an oil spill right here. Put some kitty litter down and all that. And just left the kitty litter there. So of course they bitching, but whatever. It's clean now. I got a leak somewhere over here. I had a puddle right here last night. Well, when I got here today, I had a puddle. See the coming from this tail light seal. Which I don't think so because it was a lot. So I think it may be coming from this. Of course, it's just tape, but it seemed to be too much for it to be leaking through. So I took this whole plastic off. I'll figure it out another time. If anybody knows, what is this? I got a little, if you look back here, it's like a piece of tubing that goes to the outside of the car. Is that just a, um, is this a way to get water out the car or what? Cause I got this smaller hose that doesn't go anything. So, and that was sitting like this. So maybe that's where the leak's coming from. I can't tell where that hose goes to. It goes at least up to here, but whatever. We'll figure it out. Um, oh. Real quick, I put six by, by fives in the back. It wouldn't fit through that shield, but once I took that plastic off, now it fits in there perfectly. So that's a six by five, not a uh, five and a quarter. It wouldn't fit in just by taking the front shield off, which is right here. It wouldn't fit in that. So between there and there. <clears throat> but whatever. So I'm gonna start this rear motor mount. As you can see, labeled all my sensors. I'm gonna take my intake off. I already know it's gonna be in a pain in the ass, so might as well get everything out your way. I'm gonna take my intake off, take my intake manifold off. Um, that should free open all this base right here. Rear motor mount is. Oh, I think I just dropped my beer. Let's check. She's still alive. Most important thing of the day. But, uh, yeah. Let's see if we can see it through there. Yeah, you see I got a polyurethane one. Let me see if I can get a finger on it. Right there. Oh, fuck. Right there, you see the red polyurethane bushing. Let me see right here. Where that bolt is coming through. That's the motor mount. Try to get to that. Definitely not gonna happen today. Uh, fuck, man. Look at all this grease. I need a new axle. I just figured that out. I don't, well, the boot is okay. But, man, as soon as I put it in that gear, it's fucking making that noise. So, that's why I'm here, man. I parked it for the summer. I'm gonna fix every fucking thing. I need, I need suspension. Um, ah, oh, you know what? Look at that. Power steering. Boop. That's where all that grease is coming from. And I actually have a manual rack. I don't have power steering anyway, so I'm just replacing with the manual rack so I don't have that uh, loop going through. But yeah. So let's get this manifold off, man. And the manifold should be number 12 bolts. We got shit. Um, one, two under, and then yeah, you gotta know where it's at. There goes one right there, all the way across the top. One right there, one right there, one right there. Got a few on the bottom. <clears throat> Got the last one right here. 
actually not on the bottom. That is the bottom. So one, two, three, four, five should be it. I'm guessing. Oh, and here goes one right there. What the fuck was that? One right there. Yeah. Get my hand on it. One right there. That 4321 is my injectors, just in case I pulled them out. I'm not sure if I'm going to pull the intake all the way off and clean it and stuff or just sit it to the side, but who knows. All right, man, let's get this started. Probably not going to record this because I can't do it with one hand, so I'm going to get this off, though. But uh, sensors, so let's get sensor. Got your mat, you got your throttle body back here. You have your IABC right here. Then you have this one right here. I'm just I just labeled that vacuum. I think I don't know what that is, but uh, yeah. So let's get this thing off. Oh, you got one right here. If you want to take that off, but you know that'll be with the that's with the fuel rail, so it ain't no biggie. All right, let's get her off. One more. One more thing for those that don't know, if you're taking the intake manifold off, make sure you have a, um, something down there under to catch the coolant that's going to come out. You got a coolant line right here. So uh, make sure you get that. All right. All right, so look how much space you get just by taking the intake out of the way. I mean, shit, now I can see right down into it. I thought I could, but... You can see it right there. Right there. We're going to get to this bugger. Alright, so I just took this coolant bypass off that goes to the, uh, let me get this out of the way. Goes right here to the intake manifold. Took that off. Fucking got all kinds of coolant. But I was prepared. So yeah, just be prepared for that. Do that first before you try to take the whole intake manifold off. Save yourself some uh, cleanup time. On to the next step. Now I can actually start removing it. So yeah, man. Remove that. Probably can take this off. Remove that. It's probably coolant too. Yep, that comes right attaches to this upper radiator hose on the bottom. Let's see if you can see it right there so we could take that off and then um yeah i think i might end up taking this uh i don't know, maybe not today but i'll probably take this whole intake off i got a gsr head so i mean i might put this back on if i plan on driving it anytime soon but if not i probably end up taking this whole head off taking the whole i probably end up taking the whole engine out but just in case i want to drive it i, I want to be riding without vibration so this is a new and it looks kind of weird but this is the new um motor mount all right a little update i got all those top nuts out and that one side one that was a little bit lower on the bottom you see that stud right there but um there is it looks like a few on the bottom so i had to break my socket set out but um i did the top one just with a Ratchet and wrench, number 12, number 12, size 12, but it looks like it's like one or two on the bottom, so let's get those out. I know it's one right here, under there, it's probably one in the same spot on the other side, I can't really feel it yet, but I'll let you guys know. Ah, uh, now nah, we got one right here. Oh shit, so this is going to be fun. Alright, break out your extension. Alright guys, so this is something I do to myself a lot, man. I feel like this is about to turn into a big project. So, there's three bolts, one, three nuts on the bottom. It's one nut right here on the end, and there's one nut in the middle, and then one nut on this side on the end. The one in the middle, you can't get unless you have a uh, wobble socket, because if you look at the intake, um, from where the bolts are, the runners go immediately down 
like this. So the middle nut, the middle nut, to, in order to put a socket on it and to try to get a ratchet on it or extension, you got to use extension to get out at least to pass that. By the time you put the extension on it, your extension will hit the runners. So therefore, when you try to put the socket on from the back, you can't. You're going up at an angle and you can't fully get on the socket. All you'll end up doing is stripping it. So you need a wobble. So as soon as you come out, come off the nut, you can drop down. And I've been getting them, <clears throat> the ones on the bottom of the intake from the bottom of the car. So, I'm going to show you that. So, you can see my, you might can see it. I can see it. There you go. You can see my socket right there over top of the um, oil filter. Well, I can get a short, a shallow socket on it, but I can't get anything else on it. Well, I can actually get the shorter uh, three-quarter extension on it, and then it's hitting the um, intake runner. So I need a, a wobble socket to get on there. And I think that's just with OEM. I think with Skunk 2 and stuff, you'll, um, you'll be fine. So that's just one of my problems i probably will never put this intake back on like i said i got a, a gsr head so i just started taking the bolts off of the um t-bracket and the motor mount so you got to take the starter off to get this one that bolt on the t-bracket i mean you don't have to probably but i just did easy use now i got all this space instead of you know from here like two or three inches to try to get one in and then I'll be hitting the sensor and bother bother even though I could have took that off I guess but that being said I took my starter bolts out and both of them had oil all over them so I'm thinking I need a rear main seal now where the starter was here's my starter the bolts I already um, wiped them down with a, a microfiber cloth but Man, so I'm thinking about dropping this motor out, man. Engine, however you want to call it. Thinking about dropping the engine out, building it up for LSV or a full GSR swap. I need a GSR block if I'm going to go full GSR, but yeah. So this, you may be seeing the engine come out. So I'm going to um, pretty much finish up this for today because I got to figure out if I'm going to drop the motor or if I'm just going to do the engine the rear mount but um, I'm going to talk to my guy, some of my guys and see what they think so yeah stay tuned, it's going to be the end of this episode thank you for watching, sorry I didn't get it pulled but I will get something pulled either the engine or just the rear mount alright man see y'all in the next one